In this illustration, we will study a situation where uh, the components of a particle velocity are equal. Here we are given that a ball is thrown horizontally from top of a tower with velocity 30 meters per second and during its motion at a particular point, horizontal and vertical components are equal and we are equal to find the time to reach this point. Now, in this situation, if we draw the situation here on ground, there is a tower and say from here a boy throws a ball in horizontal direction with a speed u which is 30 meters per second and this thrown at t equals to 0. It follows a horizontally thrown projectile and at any instant of time if its velocity is along the tangent it has one horizontal component another is vertical component this say x direction velocity this y direction velocity. So, here we can simply write after time t velocity components of particle r here we can write this horizontal velocity component remains the initial horizontal velocity which is 30 meters per second. And if we talk about the velocity component in vertical direction here we can see initial velocity in y direction was 0. So, it is falling with the acceleration g. So, here we can write v y is equals to u y plus g t. So, here it is only g t and g we can take as 10. So, this is 10 t and we are given that v x is equals to v y. So, here we can write as v x is equals to v y. Here we can write 30 is equals to 10 t which implies the value of time is 30 by 10 that is 3 second. This is the time after which the two velocity components become equal that is the result of this problem.